Hello Space Engineers and welcome back to Aries Colony, Wellington 6012 here, how are you all doing? Hope you're good, I'm good. So, uh, you find me where you left me last time pretty much, uh, in fact it's only been not long, like half an hour, or not even that probably, since uh, the last episode. So we will uh, we'll get straight into it, because uh, lots to do today. So, what do I want to press, that button and that button. And that button. Right, we're away. Haha. <laughs> um, yes, so um what have I got to talk about? So you find me about half an hour, as I say, after you left me last time. I've only just spent that time flying around and mining out the meteorite craters. And it's been a very successful day. Um I've also had two unknown signals which I've got. So let's just go through where we're at. So with the ores, uh, in fact, now I just think about it. If I go into here, there are no ores because I ran out of room in here. It's only a thousand liters. Um, some good food hauls in those two uh, unknown signals. So water, which has topped us up, some carrots. So yeah, I think when I get down a little bit lower on food, I'll start to eat this stuff. Uh, I've just seen also there's a grinder in there which was in one of the armories so they're continuing to spawn and um, the last unknown signal also had med kits so that's uh, that's a bit of a bonus in case I get uh, hurt and then I've had to put the ores in this container because I've just got so many of them look at what I've got magnesium a little bit of platinum I reckon that's gonna be enough for um, some elite tools when I get the means uh, also carbon and potassium which, yeah, I don't even know what they're for. They, they must be part of the um, daily needs. Um, so that's exciting. Two new resources, which are completely new to me. Again, I could have read the manual by now for daily needs, but that's uh, good just finding out for myself. Um, and quite a bit of ice and iron as well. So we're, we're in a pretty good place with all these things. So that's uh, I've only had the two meteor storms come through. And boy, they left a few craters, so uh, yeah, so that's that, uh, that's that, we're looking pretty healthy with this stuff here as well, so yeah, good amounts, good amounts, um, is there anything in there, just anything, no, nothing respawned, um, and then if we come into here, uh, the, the, the bad news is, I guess, that we don't have any solar cells, which is problematic because the sun's going down so it could be a long night hmm I suspect there'll be some editing involved in today's episode um but if we go into here uh acquisitions oh that's just new that one so I'll accept that and oh I won't accept that one because that's just a little bit too much just trying to keep it within my own ability for my uh inventory character inventory Let's see how far away these are as well mm, silver ingot i will accept that because when i do get silver you sort of tend to end up with too much girders oh man there's just heaps in the uranium i won't be giving that away uh, yeah okay these these are all fresh so platinum's another one once i sort of get it i should have heaps of it so I'll just I'll keep these up my sleeve because even though they say there's a time critical, it, they're not time critical, you know. So I've got quite a lot of these now, actually. So just going through, I can actually cash in some of the ones that are ores. So let's just have a look because I think there were hydrogen bottles in there. I'm sure there was ores. No, there must. Oh no, it's looking ore. Two o two. I thought there was some um, iron, but obviously not. Okay, so 202 silicon. Oh, why am I not coming down the stairs? Uh, silicon, oh, that's going to be most of it. 202. Oh, we'll cash that one in. And uh, does anybody remember how much that was actually for? Was down. Here. There it is. 25k okay well that's uh finish confirm 
nice. So that that's pretty easy money, really. So now if we go into here, we can get a hydrogen bottle. Now, can I... Okay, so I'm full on that. Will it fill up if I... I don't think it will, but if I purchase one of those... Did that fill me up? No, it didn't. Hmm. Okay. I need to... I need to buy... Uh, make an O2 generator, which... Oh, I can't do it in here. Um, if I go into here, I should be able to look at it. So, O2, there it is small grid one so it doesn't need a lot of stuff large steel tubes okay i better start buying those before they disappear off the store uh, there we go so they're near 2000 okay so if we get because i need them for wheels and stuff as well so actually if if i get six you know yeah, i can afford six so i'll buy six and now I have six. Cool. Okay. So we will put them in the container out here. Hopefully there's enough room. Yes, there is plenty of room. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting there with stuff, which is good. Um, I'll have to get some girders as well because they're required. Obviously, I don't have any money right now, but, um, yeah, girders. Uh, just looking at these contracts, is there anything that was quite low? Nah, they're all, the refined stuff's all quite low, but, mm, okay. So I was, like, hoping for 10 computers or something, but no, it's not going to do it for me. Hmm, okay. Oh well, that's uh, that's what we're up to today. So I want to get really started. I'm hoping to get building something until I get some power, um, like solar panels. Which oh, the sun's just going now. The sun's gone, pretty much. Uh, yeah, until I get solar panels. So that's going to be tomorrow. I'm pretty much stuck because I don't want to start building anything until I have a power supply because. If it's unpowered grid, it does tend to despawn. And it doesn't matter what settings you've got on your, what is it, your trash cleanup or whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. So, as with the last time, I will uh, switch the camera off. I'll switch it back on when something interesting happens. And it's not really happening right now. Actually, I need to also, just looking at that, metal grids. I need to buy some of them as well um, for the cargo containers and just uh, have some of those at my sleeve because it'll be a while before I get any cobalt. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get mobile today. So that's what I would like to achieve. Oh, and there's an unknown signal. Uh, that's what I would like to achieve is to get mobile because then I can chase these down without sort of having to re... Uh, without having to fly and use hydrogen, um, I'll also be able to do some search contracts and that will just, you know, that will bump up my paycheck quite quickly because I think they'll be pretty easy to find on this landscape. So, yes, see if we can trade our way into doing stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go grab this unknown signal and we will, actually, I'll tell you what, we'll fly over there and I will uh, find out what's in there and then I'll turn the camera off. So. And then, oh no 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 no! Okay, looks like we're going to be using one of those med kits already. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, let's have a look at this. And I've only just sort of finished the first episode, but uh, I don't think I missed sort of telling you everything. I think we're all pretty good. Oh, it's another. It's another one with the. Um, antenna so that's good because the trading post was wanting to purchase some antenna radio components which uh, will be uh, it was like 600 bucks each or something so or 600 space credits come on where's the there it is 
really. Okay, nothing in there. But that's alright. We're okay for food and water and stuff. So. Yeah, alright. I'll, uh, as I say, switch the, switch the camera off. And, um, yeah, I'll we'll come back when something interesting happens. Alright, welcome back everybody. Uh, it has been a very long night. Oh, so uh, yes, the, the morning has just started here on Mars, and the morning has just started for me as well, so it's uh, it's tomorrow for me. Um, so yes, a very long night just doing acquisitions, which, so I'll give you a little bit of a sit rep of where we're at. Um, yeah, acquisitions have been taken over. Uh, there is a maximum, so I think I've only got like two spare slots, so I've just really been um, keeping a close eye on that, really only doing the ones that I can sort of fulfill straight away. I even, a couple of like ones that were for girders, I actually purchased girders just to finish off the contract. Um, yeah, I also did a couple of search contracts as well, so got a little bit bored. Um, and uh yeah and the this our stocks the other thing is i'm actually just running out of room as well so we're getting pretty full here i bought some data pads got some gps coordinates i think there's a gps coordinate for i'm assuming that this is around the the moon uh, i didn't turn it on but anyway there's 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 a there's a base around the moon um so that's full just been keeping up the food actually now food i'm all right for i've got got food uh water is what i've been a little bit short on but um for the first time i've actually got a little bit of surplus of that um but as you can see i'm starting to fill up all these containers with stuff more med kits that's been good and out here yeah some real some good stuff um there were a couple of roly-poly uh unknown signals which have uh, a couple of gyroscopes in them so a couple of steel tubes out of that some other stuff so there's been some really good hauls now so as i say it's been a very long night i pulled the pin last night because finally 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 uh solar panels came on solar cells so i can actually get started on stuff i've been just yeah it's been so slow to change this you know, there's been periods where it's changed quite quickly, and there's been periods where I've had lots of unknown signals, like just one after another after another. Um, but there was big long periods where that just didn't happen, and the cell just doesn't seem to change at all. Which it would have been great to be able to sell some steel and stuff. But mm. anyway, so I am going to purchase thirty-two of these. So I have got money for that. And there's no girders, but I did buy some girders. Just worry about metal grids, whether I get those before it's too late. Okay, I'll grab I'll grab six of them. Yeah, okay, because I'll need them for cargo containers and stuff. Right, so let's uh let's get building. Let's uh get some stuff happening. And uh, yeah, try and try and get mobile. Although I'm saying that, I have actually um, worked pretty hard. There's those girders. Grab some of you. I'll grab some of you. And, yep, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I I actually started using the uh, turning off the initial dampness when I was jetpacking and managed to I could comfortably get three and a half k's. Uh, which was which was good. I sort of got pretty good at that. Um, search contracts say there was one that was like eight k's away. So I was like, ugh. Haven't had any more meteor storms come through either. So you know I've mined out all those, but um, I think the sun's just touching that peak. Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, uh, I'm thinking that I might even try and drive up that peak. Mm. Right. I think. Uh, oh, we'll do it straight out the front door, eh? So, we'll set up here, now, just let me think for a sec, okay, so if we go with, to start with, we'll go for a 
rotor. Just come back to it for a minute. It's a safe zone. If we go for a rotor. And then some blocks. We'll just change our colour so we can see. So if we go for some blocks like that, just to get away from things a bit. I'm going to make... I'll put a small rotor head on. Because I'm thinking solar panels. I will... I'm oh, so glad that I've finally got that solar cell phone. <laughs> Just I'll be looking in that in that thing every five minutes. Oh yeah. Okay, so if we do that, can I extend this out even though it's unfinished? Yes, I can. Fine. So that's good. And can I pull it back? Yes, I can. Okay. So what I'm thinking is just to strengthen it up a little bit. on there and a landing gear on there and that's just locked awesome 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 so that'll make that nice and strong uh, and then I want to put a hinge oh, I'm gonna need parts for a hinge aren't I just a small one Probably I can lock that now, can't I? Yep. Alright. And then so uh so we'll put you why won't you why won't you attach to that? Okay, we might need to put some of these on. Oh, more steel plate. Tell you what, one of the first things I'm going to do is um, my steel tubes. Where did I put those? <laughs> uh, there they are. Yeah, I can't, can't actually get stuff out of there. Pour those, grab some steel, unload signal, I just, I want to get some power on this thing because I'm worried it's going to despawn, hydrogen, look how cheap the hydrogen's got as well, I guess um, doing all those acquisitions has made me a bit more respectable with this uh, corporation. generator happening pretty quick so I can fill up a bottle in fact I might even do that before I go and get that unknown signal that's probably a wise move so computers bulletproof glass oh, it doesn't matter about the glass do we need for the mm, two of those so it just looks like computers I have some of them All right. so I'm going to have to make an assembler uh, oh just about out of power there
Uh, you're gonna have to make an assembler so I can sort of disassemble, probably buy some glass and disassemble it for the um, for the components. Yeah. Okay, let's um, let's put an O2 generator on here so I can get that happening. So I'm just gonna slap it on the side there. Oh, I've got everything. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let's go get uh, my ice and grab the hydrogen bottle. Which again, I Fuel low. can't remember where I actually put... Uh, I can't remember where I put my bottle. That's where I put it. Okay, uh, that's fine. Ice, ice, ice. That's, in, that's not in there, that's in here. <laughs> uh, gosh, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I've been hanging out for this hydrogen bottle. <laughs> Alright. in there. Hydrogen bottle. Yes, 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 yes. Right, unknown signal. Oh, that's good news. Just as the sun comes up, we are on our way. We are on our way. We've got power. Oh, it's, I was quite worrying last night. I mean, I'm just, yeah, but I wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna get there. But no, I think we've, we've, we've reached a milestone. I'm getting power. Oh, coffee, fantastic. Okay, so next order of business will be an assembler, and I think a assembler is an impossibility. I think we're gonna have to go with a basic assembler. But that'll give us steel tubes and things. I'll just put my tool on there. So that's that. Alright, so we need stuff. Okay, and what about a refinery? They, oh, okay, they use, oh, that's, that's a, that's a big one. Basic, okay. I think we're going for a basic. No steel. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's just see if we can grab as many components as we can. So I'll grab all of those, all of those. all of those. <laughs> uh, yep. And just uh, pull up on that. Let's get rid of these in here. And we can, yep, so that's fine. Alright, probably need a cargo container as soon as I can as well to start really storing some of the stuff in there. So yeah, I tell you what, I'll um I'll finish this off while I'm all up. I'll put a cargo container in here as well and I'll come back when that's all done. Oh, and I'll get that unknown signal. <laughs> See you soon. Alright, let's uh go and have a look at what's in these. Only two that time. That one there? Yeah, it was. Uh, sort of seeing anything? Right, so uh, yes, I'll just take care of these. So I don't think there's anything in that one. Uh, was that the other one? Yeah, that was the other one. Um, a very, 
very busy little period there. Uh, that took a lot longer than I initially thought. Um, because a unknown that unknown signal that I went and got had a had a thruster thing. That was one of those ones that thrusts away on you. So uh, that was that was good. Where is the magnesium? Hmm. I don't think there is any magnesium in there. No. Okay. That uh, tricked me. Hmm. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so right. That's uh, that's all done. So we uh, we are oh pretty good. So I can get started on uh, stuff. Right. So let's uh, let's go get charged, and then I'll lay out my buggy. And I'll just sort out some stuff in here as well. So we'll grab all of you. And I'm actually going to sell, because I think I can sell those radio components. So... No, I can't sell them. <laughs> I can sell the detector components, but I believe that I actually... I have a acquisition for those. It was a recent one, I think. 13. Oh, there we go. Finish. 36k. Boom. Awesome. All right. Uh, I was going to recharge, wasn't I? So, yeah, right. So, I will get started on the buggy now. So, we'll lay that out. Uh, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to get actually built, but we'll give it a go. We're going to have to sort out how we do power cells so I'm probably gonna have to disassemble uh, yeah disassemble some glass I would imagine so how about we just see if that works so I'll buy one of those oh there's those data pads as well I need to disassemble them so where are they they're in there that's right and I'll put you up in here I'll just take one for now I actually had to make several trips to that unknown signal because uh, yeah, my inventory was all full. Yeah, so we'll get rid of those. So we've just got a bare minimum in there. So that's fine. Uh, we'll get rid of that organic in a minute. Uh, so that's all good. I might just go up and I'll grab the... Oh, I've got all the hand tools. I had to start spreading out stuff, so I've got all the hand tools in here. We'll take all of them and we'll we'll um disassemble them. Right. Things are happening, things are happening. After just all night just almost sitting around, <laughs> it's uh, it's all go. It's all go. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go into the assembler. We'll put all of those in there. All of those in there. Go to disassemble. Right, we'll just let that do its thing for a while. Uh, yeah, okay, so for the buggy, we can probably start laying that out. Let's deal. Mm. Do we do we get a battery? Do we get a battery happening? I think that's probably the wise course of action. So twenty power cells, because at least then we're putting money in the bank while the sun's up. And that's the wrong spot because when I fold the, I've got this on a hinge so that I can sort of fold it over a little bit to almost track the sun. So actually, I have to consider that when I. Yeah, okay, so that's even in the wrong place. Right. This has been an interesting start to the game. I've been enjoying this uh, challenge. So let's have a look at what's in there. So a little bit of silicon. Okay, so 17 silicon. And what does it take to produce... To produce a power cell 3-3 three, three. 
So we may even have enough. Eight nickel and iron. Okay. So it's not actually the glass isn't the issue, it's nickel. Okay. Where can we get nickel from? What about computers? Do they do... What do they break down into? got some in that cargo container hang on let's just we're still full of stuff what am I actually so full of is it those oh it's the radio components okay well we'll put you in there then okay that's that's done that <laughs> okay that's what we were full of put the interior plate in there as well actually we'll just put all of this in there all good I'll put them okay, yep oh gosh busy 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 that's good okay, what have we got in there so that's empty now so that's good yep I need to get rid of that organic stuff out of there too because I don't need that Just uh, cash in this. Just have a quick look, see if there's anything in there that we can sort of finish off. 50 radio components. Ten nickel, one hundred twenty-five iron, twenty-six silicon. Okay, we'll just have to keep them in mind. We'll grab silicon, nickel, not that. I'll grab all the iron and the magnesium. working not enough power not enough power okay uh, more solar panels I guess okay so that's done and I've also just got some glass just to finish those off not that I needed it but you know OCD perfectionist that sort of thing Right, so uh, yes, solar panels all done, just in time for the storm to prevent them from working. Uh, uh, let's just turn you on and see if you're going to produce stuff. Ugh, which you're not. Okay. That's, uh, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, we'll turn you back on. So I was going to do the buggy today, but clearly I've uh, run out of time. Just get uh, oh I'll put you in here. Um, so I'm just going to need to continue to to do this now. I'm thinking it's a disassembling. The motors should have some nickel in them. Yeah, they've got good nickel. Okay, so let's just do twenty of those. Okay, so the assembler can keep up with the power. It sounds like it's struggling, but um, max required, 
So it's only just not quite enough. Which is interesting. Okay, and oh, wind's gone. Okay, but the solar panels aren't putting much in at all. Okay, so it relies on us getting that battery sorted. Which is just okay, we've got enough now. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. This is good news. Because once I get that battery done, then I should be able to get the refinery going. And things are just happening. So yeah, this this has been I feel like I've I've made it. <laughs> There's still a lot more obstacles to overcome, but I have power. I have manufacturing facilities, I've started, I've survived, I've survived. Thank goodness for those unknown signals, otherwise I would have been absolutely just stuck, completely stuck. Uh, I think even these meteors are going to be quite, uh, quite helpful. So we'll just get this all welded up, oh look at that, look at that, we've got a battery. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this trading post has just been invaluable. I don't know if I could have actually done it with a small one. Because to have those storage containers, if I'd had one the size of um, that one that I was visiting uh, just nearby to Fort Rutherford, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I would have been able to achieve it. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's turn you back on. On... Oh, there we go. We're whirring. We're making noise. Oh, relief, relief. And in fact, I can just get this. And I'll unlock it. And I'll just tilt it back a little bit. So I'm just doing the manual thing there. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's bumped it up. Actually, I'll probably go back a little bit more. So I'll just keep an eye on that. I'm not going to use this as a solo script. I do have a thought about solar tracking, um, but not using a script. So yeah, so that's uh, that's good. Oh, success, success. It's uh, yeah. As I say, I wanted to get the buggy done today, but actually, actually, that's going to be next time because uh, it's just taken so much longer than I was. Well, it hasn't taken longer than I was expecting. I knew it was going to be difficult. Um, but yeah, we're here, we've made it. So, uh, I did just write down, I needed 10 of those. And 26 silicon, no, I can't do that yet. And 125 iron. Hmm, okay, we'll just, uh... Oh, no, there we go, 26 silicon. Come on, iron. 125. Cool, 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 cool. Right, we'll let that do its thing for a little while. That's uh, that's awesome. We will get rid of you in there. Still got water. We don't need that. Right, we'll head inside and we'll say our goodbyes. And yeah, sort of uh, get ready for next time, which will be uh, the buggy. So, what to do into here? Finish up these contracts. I mean, I, there was hardly any of these contracts that I actually got done. Just because, yeah, just because. So finish you. Awesome. Finish. So don't grab the contracts, because even though they don't expire, they take up room <laughs> and silicon alright so that's some money there that's awesome uh, that's uh, all good how much are those gravity oh, not cheap but you know they've got gold and stuff in them if I needed to get stuff awesome 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 and uh, yeah I'm just going to sell sell that one that's in by extra. Right, okay, so uh, yes, that's, um, actually we'll go back outside and we'll stand in front of uh, what I've been up to, and we'll call it a day. I think this is going to be the, uh, 
the spot. Okay, that's better. So, uh, yes, thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you did enjoy this episode uh, and the, the last episode as well, so the first two of the series. I think they're probably a little bit dull viewer-wise. Um, yeah, they've been good fun for me, but uh, yeah, I don't think they're made for super fantastic TV. But hey, we have a foundation. That was uh, what I wanted to start off with. Uh, set the, I guess, set the tone for the series with the challenges of resources, and uh, yeah, we should get into into some more interesting stuff tomorrow. Go out for a bit of a travel, get that buggy done, which I really want to do today, actually, but never mind. Uh, yeah, get out, do some search contracts, maybe get up the top of that mountain. Um, that would be quite good just to get the lay of the land. So uh, yeah, I will continue on just. Just sorting out some resources, uh, chasing down some more unknown signals so we can really just get into it uh, next time. And until next time, hopefully you can join me then. Stay safe out there everybody and have a good one.